I was cutting my bangs in front of the mirror when the door sprung open and I was splashed with water. My scissors slipped, and now my bangs were super short. And it was all because of Greta. Oops, sorry. I didn't see you there. Arr, why can't you leave me in peace? Hi, my name is Luna, and my dream is to become a hairstylist. But my life currently feels more like Cinderella's. Before I continue, please like and subscribe to MSA. When I was little, mom used to be a super famous hairdresser with her own salon, and I could hold scissors before a fork. But then, dad got arrested for gambling and left a massive debt with some shady crooks who threatened to do horrible things to mom if she didn't pay it back quickly. And that's when mom's competitor, Mr. Prudit, swooped in. I'll cover your debt in exchange for your salon, and you'll work for me until you pay it all back. We had no other choice, and from then on, mom and I had to do everything Mr. Prudit said. To make matters worse, there was Travis, Mr. Prudit's son, and Greta, his business partner's daughter, who treated me as if I were their maid. I had to carry their backpacks and iron their clothes, and they always called me. Hey, you! Hey, you! Luckily, Travis went to live with his mom five years ago, but I still had to deal with Greta, who had become jealous of my looks and found every chance to make me suffer. She put chili oil in my mascara or left my number on strange websites. I was tired of her pranks, so when I saw Greta had booked an appointment with Mr. Prudit, I mixed the strongest green hair dye I could find into his products. Enjoy looking like broccoli, Greta. But when I got back from school, I saw the mixed-up products on mom's tray and her client was the celebrity famous for leaving horrible reviews. I told her everything, but it was too late. She had already applied the dye. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to teach Greta a lesson. And now you're the one in trouble if Mr. Prudit finds out. You know he's just looking for an excuse to throw us out. How do we fix this? Leave it to me. Mom added orange to the green, and the hair turned into a lovely chocolate brown. The client was so happy, she gave Mom a great tip. Phew, dodged a bullet there. I'd spoken too soon. <gasps> Mr. Prudit got so jealous of the client praising my mom that he pushed her just as she was pouring hot coffee, and it burned her hands. Oh, looks like you won't be able to work for a while. I was about to fry him with the hot pan, but I knew retaliating would only backfire. The best thing I could do was take her place at the salon. Greta was <laughs> thrilled about it. She already thought she was the boss of the place, but now she had me doing all sorts of ridiculous tasks. Hey, you, color code all my makeup supplies. Hey, you, come braid my guinea pig's hair. But the little devils kept running away. I dived to grab one before it ran out of the shop, and I almost collided with a guy walking in. As I looked up, I saw he had the most beautiful, long hair ever. I've always dreamed of cutting hair like that. I raised my hand to touch it, and I realized it was Travis. Oh no, he's back! So we're grooming animals now? Here, I think my dog needs a little trim. Sure. And so, I grabbed his hair to cut it, but Travis jumped away, horrified. What? You two basically look the same. Really? I bought her because she reminded me of you. Ugh, he might have become handsome, but he's still the same brat as before. I hated Travis, but since he got back, I noticed him everywhere. It was all his hair's fault. It was always tangled, getting up in his face, and I itched to give him a good haircut. Ignore him. So I did, until one evening, I saw Mr. Prudit throw an expensive, perfectly good hair product into the trash. I waited until everyone was done, then Ninja crawled to the bin and snatched it up. When I told Mom what I did, she freaked out. Put it back. He'll think you stole it if he finds out. Then he shouldn't have thrown it out, right? Plus, we are overrun with plastic. You can say I'm saving the planet. Just keep it hidden. I'll put it together with my hidden stash. But as I was going to the car, I saw a truck stop just behind Mr. Prudit's salon. Weird, isn't the salon closed right now? Something smelled fishy, so I sneaked in closer and saw a guy in a baseball hat and mask open the store's back door. A thief? I grabbed a broken hair dryer from the nearby dumpster, ready to smack the thief in the head when a gust of wind blew his hat off, revealing his hair that I'd have recognized anywhere. That's Travis! I watched as Travis loaded some boxes into the truck and then took off. Even if it was his dad's shop, the way he had acted was super suspicious. So I checked the salon's inventory, but nothing was missing. I'm sure he was up to no good. The next day at school, I caught him right out of the bathroom. Oh, gosh, you scared me. Good. You should be scared. I know what you're up to. For a second, he looked serious, but then he grinned at me. Really? I didn't expect you to be the jealous type. What? Yeah, I went to the bathroom to put on some deodorant for my date. But if you're offering, you used to be a little gremlin before, but you've grown up pretty. 
I felt a smile tug at the corner of my lips as I pictured us on a date at a romantic restaurant, but I quickly squished it away. No, he's just trying to distract me, but I couldn't help but blush. OMG, don't tell me you really like me. Denying would only make him feel more proud, so I just walked away with Travis <laughs> laughing behind me. A few weeks later, Mr. Prudent threw a massive launch party for his new salon. As usual, he forced the staff to work as waiters and give out free cuts. I was determined to ignore Travis, but as he walked in, I felt my heart race. Get a hold of yourself! I moved to the back room to prepare food, but dropped all the mini sandwiches when I opened the cupboard and found Travis behind the door. Oh no, those were for your dad. He'll be so angry. You won't find out if you're not here. Come on, let's go for a ride. Maybe if we're alone, I can ask him about the van. Fine. Instead of taking me to his car, Travis hopped on a bike and handed me a helmet. I've never been on a bike before. What's wrong, scared? Of course not. Hold tight. And he was off like a rocket. After I stopped screaming, I realized having Travis so close did weird things to my insides. It's not him. You just ate a bad prawn. He stopped by a beautiful hothouse. It was wow. winter, but it was full of flowers blooming. A friend gave me the keys. Pretty amazing, right? But he was looking at me, and it made me blush. So I tried to change the subject. Why did you come back? I thought you liked it with your mom. Travis's smile slipped. <sighs> Family stuff. Uh, how about you? Did you still want to become a hairdresser? Yeah. As soon as the debt is paid, I want to open a salon with mom. I'm sure you'll do great. And I'm sorry dad can be so horrible. My <sighs> jaw fell. Why is he so nice? Who cares? Stop flirting, girl, and ask about the van. But just as I was about to open my mouth, a thunderclap interrupted me. And there was lightning, and it started raining, and I forgot all about the stupid van because I was deadly scared of storms. Here, put this on. You're trembling. It's not cold, it's fear. But then Travis wrapped his arm around me and I didn't feel so scared anymore. Actually, having him so close was making me wonder how it would be to kiss him. And suddenly my phone started ringing. Where are you? Mr. Prudent is looking for you and he's angry. Travis and I raced back home, only to find that Mr. Prudent and Greta had dumped all my secret stash of salvaged products onto the lawn. There you are, you little thief. I haven't stolen anything. This is... That's my stuff. I just asked Luna to hold it for me. You wanted me to get more involved with the store, right? Mr. Prudent narrowed his eyes at Travis, suspicious. But since the clients were still around, he just walked away, and Travis followed him. Don't flatter yourself. He just did it because he didn't want his dad to cause a scene. Maybe. But Travis had helped me, so I wanted to thank him. Instead of finding him, Mr. Prudent found me. You sneaky little girl. I saw you on the bike with Travis. Stay away from him. Maybe you should tell him to stay away from me. As if he'd even look at someone like you. I just don't want you to ruin him with your horrible influence. I have plans for him. Plans? He's not a thing. He's your son. Mr. Prudent <laughs> laughed, and it made me so angry. Until then, I hadn't fully realized how much I liked Travis. But hearing his dad talk about him like that made my blood boil. He's a million times better than you will ever be. I doubt he truly belongs to you. Watch your mouth, girl. You don't want your mom to have another accident, do you? Before I could say anything even worse, I stormed off. I was so tired of Mr. Prudent, and now I had to go and fall for his son. The only solution is to avoid Travis at all costs. It's a temporary madness. It will pass. Easier said than done, since we went to school together. Every time he walked into a room, I hid under the table or pretended to be on the phone. OMG, your cat is on fire? I'll be there right away. Finally, he cornered me in the salon's back room. Gotcha. What do you want, Travis? To thank you. I heard what you told my dad. No one's ever stood up for me like that. Don't flatter yourself. He just gets on my nerves. I don't believe you. I can see how you look at me. Be my girlfriend? Your dad won't let us. Only if he finds out. I give up. We started dating secretly, and every night was like a fairy tale as we snuck out and went for long drives, and I realized I was falling for him. He was funny and kind, and his hair. I wanted to touch it all the time. And then everything changed when Mr. Prudent announced that his business partner, Greta's mom, was coming back, and he was throwing a party. Suddenly, Travis got so busy, I didn't see him for a week. I volunteered to be on the catering service, but whenever I I tried to catch Travis's eye, he was socializing with his fancy guests. Whatever, I'll wait for him in his bedroom, where Greta was lying in Travis's bed in a silk dress. My heart sank. Oh my, look at your face. He didn't tell you, did he? She showed me a massive ring on her finger. We're engaged. Our parents are announcing it right now. I didn't want to believe her, but I heard clapping from downstairs, and when I ran out, 
everyone was congratulating Travis. So this was why he wanted to keep our relationship secret. He has been dating Greta all this time? Luna. Here to congratulate the happy couple. I looked at Travis, but he stayed silent. Greta was telling the truth. There was a steak knife on the table, so I grabbed it and... You're just a liar! Luna, wait! I chopped Travis's hair off. Oh, his beautiful hair! That's it, you and your mother are out, and you still owe me! Everyone was looking at us, and I realized I had just ruined my life for a stupid boy. But Mom stepped out of the crowd, and she was smiling. I don't think so. By burning my hands, you've actually done me a favor. I finally had time to speak with a lawyer. Your interest rates are illegal, and we've repaid our debt a long time ago. Plus, I'm suing for damages. Let's go, Luna. OMG, Mom is so cool. I was completely heartbroken over Travis's betrayal, but watching Mom's lawyer wipe the floor with Mr. Prudent gave me great satisfaction. He lost all his clients and had to sell the business to his partner. With the insurance money, Mom and I moved to a new town and opened our salon, which, you guessed it, was super successful. Five years later, I was a senior stylist. Finally, everything was good in my life. Well, almost everything, because every time a guy with nice hair had an appointment, I remembered Travis and wondered what that last look on his face meant. Did he really betray me like that? And just then, as if I'd called out to him, Travis walked into the salon. He's even more handsome than before. What do you want? A haircut, of course. You've got your own salon for that. Well, your wife's salon. I didn't marry her. Also, I cut ties with my dad. Sure. Look, I never liked Greta. I was just trying to protect you. From what? We've done fine by ourselves, as you can see. From Dad. I came back and discovered that my dad was throwing away lots of stock for the silliest reasons. I tried to return some of it, but the other business partner found out, and Dad accused you and your mom. The partner believed him and threatened to put your mom in jail. Agreeing to marry his daughter was the only way I could protect you. But I broke up with her right away, and I worked to refund all the missing stock. And now, I'm here. I was speechless. Travis had really done all that for me? He could have just walked away, but he protected me while I hated him. Okay, fine. Sit down. So, you forgive me? Maybe. But for now, let me cut your hair. 